In part 18 of our Build an Internet Together um, little series, um, I'm going to focus on your contributors. Because remember, sometimes working on intranets happens outside of intranets. Okay, so an important part of uh, this new intranet of yours is building that team of people that will be contributing content to it. So one of the first things I want to do is to put those people in a place where they can learn from each other, they can ask questions, they can share things with each other. So like a little forum. So in my Microsoft team, I'm going to go and say click on create team. Now remember, my uh, site is called the Nerve Center. So I'm going to say the Nerve Center. I can't, uh, Nerve Center rock stars. <laughs> So that's my intranet team and then of course I'm going to go next and I'm going to then add the people that I've added as contributors. So for now I'm going to just add Brahm of course because he's always a rock star. Oops, I didn't add him so let's just go back and add him. I'm going to go and say manage team, um, add member, Brahm, let's go, that's better. And then we can go and say Brahm is added as a member and we can close that. So what is the important part for me of this little forum that's going to work together? Of course, it is about them also learning. So in a previous team, I went and created a channel where I said, I want you to add things like user voice, the roadmap. So user voice, let me just show you because we'll definitely be adding that as well on learning. So there's user voice because I want the guys to use this. There's the Office 365 roadmap. I want them to know what's being released for um, SharePoint and what's coming next. Uh, there's any training material they might require, which they can get from the training portal as well. Very, very cool. Um, there's also the What's New in Office 365, so that helps them. There's my tech community as well. And then, as I mentioned before, I've also created a tab that uh, that shows me um, all those important Twitter handles to follow on social media so that I can stay up to date with what it is that I can do. So definitely in this team of mine, I want to make sure that they stay up to date. So in my team here at the bottom, I'm going to just minimize this. I'm going to definitely create a channel and uh, I think for now, just for the lack of not knowing what to call it, I'm going to call it support. And in here, I had all the um, tabs uh, for websites, etc. to support the team to continuously learn and grow. Okay, so all of those things that you can add. Um, at the top for that team to just learn to grow so I would also definitely um, add a channel there and say uh, questions so they want, when they want to post specific questions on things that's a problem and uh, for the intranet if I just think of it I would definitely add a channel as well for um, new features new feature requests so here they can talk about things that people want on the intranet etc so remember because the intranet's there i can add a lot of other links here as well but they can have a little project plan on this team that to help them manage their tasks they can have a one note where they take the notes in if they have sessions with people um, and track things they can even add power bi reports to bring in um, the user adoption graphs from t65 to say that how many people are using this um what are we doing with the site so definitely i want you to go and create a team where these people can work together but the cool thing about creating this team is that i can also now on my nerve center site is when i set up the permissions i can actually use that team as a group which will be contributors and we'll actually cover that in one of the next sessions so um, a very cool thing to do is to create an environment for those people that are going to be contributors on your intranet to support them to help them learn so that they can have a place where they can ask questions from each other and learn from each other and help each other share any documents that they need to share um, throw around ideas for governance etc so please create that uh, that safe environment for these people please support them don't just give them a new job to do but please support them with the right tools to also be able to do this so create a team for that group of contributors to help them um, do this new task so much better i hope that that uh, helps you a lot in planning your internet we'll chat soon